Hey, this is RJ with 6 Minute Salesforce. Today we're going to be talking about the developer console. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do once you log in, you're going to go up here to the user menu. You're going to click developer console right here. And that's going to open up. And basically what you're seeing here is the uh, the interface for the developer console. We're going to go up to debug and do execute anonymous Apex. Because uh, that's what we're going to do right now. We're just going to write some quick Apex. Uh, this is basically just a quick and dirty of how we're going to uh, get started with building random accounts. So um, I need 100 accounts, so integer account num 100. Um, actually, I think we're going to call this number of accounts uh, so it makes more sense. Then we're going to go down here and we're going to build a very simple array uh, called Axe. Uh, to hold all of the accounts that we're going to create and then we're going to say ax equals new account and we're going to give it we're going to put a number in here which is going to be the number of accounts because we want to make a hundred of them so now this array has a hundred elements essentially waiting to be written uh, so we're going to make a for loop here a very simple for loop integer i equals zero because that's where we're starting uh, we want to make sure that is less than or the number of accounts because it's going to be minus one for the whole loop to go through and then we're going to say I plus plus so now we have string account num equals string dot value of and right in here we're gonna we're gonna get the value of the account number I'm just building this out real quick uh, account zip equals string dot value of we're gonna put something else in here um, and so the account num is just gonna be your I um, and then we're gonna left pad this right here by four so it gives four to the left and then we're gonna replace so it's gonna give four spaces to the left and then we're gonna replace all the spaces with zeros so uh, count number one would normally be one and in this instance it would be zero 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 one uh, next we're gonna go down here to the zip and we're gonna round up a <clears throat> essentially a random uh, times 99,999 and we're gonna left pad that by five because all zips are five digits and then we're gonna replace all those uh, spaces with zeros again so you may have 23 and it'll be 00023 as your zip um, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an account name string because we want to put that in there as well and we're just gonna append some stuff here uh, we're not really going to do a string I thought we were going to do a string value of but we're not all we need to do is uh, take the word test and append the account number to that so it would be for for the first account uh, it would be test account 0001 and now we need a random number of employees so we're going to go in and we're going to round again and we're just going to kind of make a random amount of employees this stuff isn't really very important uh, what's important is that we're gonna put all this into an actual account uh, and then we're also gonna do some account revenue just so that I can show you guys that we're actually doing some other we're putting other things inside of the account um, so again we're gonna do math at random and we're just gonna do like 50 mil right in there and we'll, we'll see what that gives us so now we're going to say this account i, this element i, so for the first one, zero, the zeroth account equals a new account, and now we're going to make the account right here. So the name equals act name, account number equals act num, and we're going to put all of our elements into here, and it's going to build an account with those elements filled out. So Billing post code equals act zip. Um, number of employees we're going to put in here equals uh, act EMP for account employees. And then annual revenue is going to be act rev. And so now it's going to build this account with all these fields populated. And then once we build that, that's just going to, it's going to iterate over all those accounts building new accounts for each and then it's just going to insert all those at once so now we're going to hit the execute button and it's going to execute and it's going to give us a log 
So we're going to double click uh, this. We're going to make sure the status is success because that's what we want. And we're going to go out here and now we're going to look through all the stuff. And this is everything that's happened uh, when we executed that anonymous apex. So you're going to see right here uh, some of the test account info. So test ACK, you got the account number, you've got the billing postal code that it generated, you got the number of employees, all the stuff that it generated right there in front of you. So now we're going to go back over to the interface and we're going to look under our accounts, of course, and there they are, all of our accounts. So let's just pick the first one that we see here and we're going to look at it and there's all the info right in front of our face um, and everything is in there now. So now you have a uh, hundred essentially accounts to test with and that's it.